Hi everyone, continuing on with my series on the films of 1973, um, I'd like to talk about Magnum Force, which is one of uh, Clint Eastwood's films in which he plays uh, Harry Callahan, San Francisco detective, also known, of course, as Dirty Harry. Uh, the original Dirty Harry, of course, was uh, a movie that I'd seen a long time ago, as well as a few other uh, films, um, such as the one in which he says, Go ahead, make my day. Can't remember which one that was exactly. Um, up through uh, the last film, uh, The Deadpool, which came out in the late 80s, I believe. Um, Magnum Force was directed by Ted Post, who um, did uh, another Clint Eastwood film, Hang 'em High, a western, and he also directed one of the Planet of the Apes movies, Beneath the Planet of the Apes. A um, couple of the uh, actors that I recognized in this, aside from Eastwood, was Felton Perry, um, who uh, is a pimp in this film. Uh, but he was in the three Robocop movies uh, as the uh, sergeant at the police station. Uh, no, no, sorry, not, not him. I'm thinking of a different guy. That's Robert Doquay. Uh, Felton Perry actually played Johnson, uh, the OCP executive uh, in the three Robocop movies. He's the only OCP executive to live through all three movies. <laughs> um, he's, um, he buddies around basically with uh, Bob Morton, played by Miguel Ferrer, uh, and Kenny in the opening scene of, uh, of, of, uh, of Robocop. He's that, uh, that guy with the glasses, basically. He's in all three Robocop movies. Um, Hal Holbrook, I know from a lot of different movies, most recently uh, Water for Elephants. He played a significant role in the Oliver Stone movie Wall Street. Uh, he is Harry Callahan's boss in this film. Um, and then you've got a quartet of cops played by Tim Matheson, David Soule, Robert Urich, and Kip Niven. And I really am familiar with two of those guys, Tim Matheson and Robert Urich. I've seen them in a bunch of other stuff. Um, so what happens in this movie? Um, Callahan, the Clint Eastwood character, um, is trying to figure out uh, what is going on with um, people who are being gunned down uh, in their cars, basically, and, and uh, other places, supposedly by a patrol cop. You'll have a guy riding up on a motorcycle, they'll pull someone over, they'll walk up to the door, instead of asking them for their driver's license, what have you, boom, 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 they'll just shoot the guy. As it turns out, you know, you've got a, a pimp and you've got some other organized crime people and they're just offing these guys rather than arresting them. Someone who is either a cop or is pretending to be a cop is riding around the city doing this. Um, and I tell you, when uh, Harry Callahan meets the four cops I mentioned earlier, played by Matheson, Soul, Urich, and Niven, I immediately became suspicious of these guys because they didn't seem to have any other purpose in the story other than to uh, be, they're younger guys, basically. They're all, uh, they're all, uh, um, you know, pretty, pretty new to the force, but they're all really expert marksmen. Uh, Callahan has this scene where he uh, meets them at the shooting range and they demonstrate, you know, uh, he, he lets them borrow his famous 44 Magnum so they can fire off a few rounds and they're all really good. Um, <laughs> so I'm like, well, what are these guys doing in the movie if they're not the, um, the guys that, uh, that Callahan is looking for? Um, so, uh, yeah, of course, Callahan also has trouble with his boss, like he always does, and, and, and other people who are in positions of authority above him. And, you know, Callahan's always been the guy to just like, you know, just let me do my job. Just let me get those criminals out there that scum on the streets, you know, and don't get in my way, you know, and, and they're always trying to rein him in and everything like that. There's an extended scene in which Callahan is being chased around a shipping yard uh, on a, on a, there, there's some uh, giant uh, ships that are docked in the harbor in San Francisco and um, um, he's uh, running around uh, trying to get these guys and they're trying to get him and that kind of thing. Um, this is a pretty decent movie, but not one of my favorites. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's not a bad movie by any means. Um, it's, uh, you know, it's got its strong points. Um, I don't really regret seeing any of these movies right here, and this is, and this is certainly the case here. Um, but again, not, uh, not something that really sticks in my head clearly. Um, all in all, decent. Uh, this was uh, requested by uh, 99 Filmo, of course, who has requested lots of 73 movies uh, that I uh, talk about. So thanks again for the recommendation. Appreciate that, sir. Uh, and uh, stay tuned for more. See you soon.